Hello, it's Australia with a reading for the collective. Take what resonates with the rest. Queen of Cups Reverse. I feel like this is about a Queen of Cups Reverse. But there's some type of a Two of Cups situation. So a partnership. Maybe, um, okay, so a Tower. We've got a Queen of Cups Reverse, a Tower, a partnership. Um, Knight of Cups Reverse. Someone's love bombing someone. Someone's disingenuous. The chariot, um, someone has control over a situation, someone doesn't like that, or they want to control something. <clears throat> <clears throat> Something's working out in someone's favor. Someone feels like they're not connected or like they don't have awareness of something or they're lacking the spark or the creativity or someone's not attracted to someone and everything's working out for you. They're in a tower. They're having a tower. They're looking. They feel like subconsciously like you know that some type of message backfired or that there's something about some sort of message or energy, some sort of frustrated action s someone has taken. I feel like a jealous person has taken. There's something about your focus on their jealous actions that's in their subconscious. Um, something about a jealous message or it's in the subconscious. Someone's love bombing someone, someone's disingenuous. Um, Four of Cups reverse. Someone's not rejected in the recent past. Someone's been trying to hold on to something. They're in a tower and they're trying to hold on. This is someone power hungry. Maybe stingy. You're not rejected. Someone's been trying to hold on to something. There's a big tower. You're real busy with something. Someone's real busy with something. Someone doesn't know what's happening or they're not, they don't, you're real busy, but they're, they're not included or they don't have the idea or the creativity. Um, someone could be very, very upset. Something about options or seeing through an illusion. They feel like you win. Someone feels like you win. Someone's expecting you to get what you deserve or for you to get paid for something or there to be a fair exchange. The fool in the near future, someone is taking a leap of faith, having a new start. Um, the lens that someone is looking through, they really don't like it, I think. Uh, someone, someone does not like it. Um, it fell out like this, Nine of Pentacles, and then when it fell onto the floor, it fell face down, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So there could be some type of comparison being made between you and someone else. You're very independent. There's someone who, um, it's like they have to let go of something. It has to do with you being this high priestess energy and defending yourself. Someone has to let go of something because you're very, very wise, because you saw something coming. It's something about awareness, a connection, um, something backfiring. It's something about your vision. You're very independent. Someone's going to have to let go of something. Or Four of Pentacles Reverse can also be extreme greed. Someone could want something from you. There's a King of Swords here who sees everything. 
there's something about this person not having access to an idea or creativity or passion or telepathy. Someone could feel blocked. Yeah, someone feels stuck or trapped because there's they're missing something here with this Ace of Wands reverse. But it's interesting because the wands are like awareness too, in my in my eyes. It's intuition. Um a divine spark. It's like what inspires someone to take action. It's the impetus, it's the, the initial um passion, it's the download. And to me, what makes a difference from like, say the Ace of Swords, where you get a bright idea, I feel like you can have an Ace of Wands stirring inside of you that you're um, sort of cultivating, but that the Ace of Swords can also create sort of like an intellectual pursuit to help develop an Ace of Wands. Um, I feel like that's a great conversation to be had, but anyway, this person feels like they're off, they're blocked, or they don't have something here. Yeah, two of wands reversed, they don't have a plan, they don't have the imagination, they don't have a plan. Yeah, someone doesn't have a plan. Someone doesn't have a plan. You could be very, um... You're just very stable and creative here or something. A very intuitive. Someone sees you as someone that has won something here or is being celebrated. You could be a, a, a reader or like a Reiki healer. You could be very, very attractive, very enigmatic. Um, someone is really seeing you as like successful or like you want something but they don't have the spark hmm they feel like you got control over a situation something could be backfiring that's what's bothering someone it's very wands heavy they see you as a queen of wands they see you as you know they're missing the two of wands they're missing the ace of wands it's very action passion heavy um passion they're lacking in passion they're lacking in the spark they don't have the, the intuition they don't have the creativity um they don't turn heads someone feels like maybe you turn heads um ten of cups reverse in the environment ace of wands reverse and someone sees you this queen of wands with the seven of pentacles looking at this group yeah you're looking at i feel like the seven of pentacles is behind you this is where you know someone sees in the environment that you're reworking something uh, maybe that someone tried to defeat you somehow there's like the, the remnants of something here or it's time intensive um but you're this queen of wands it's very much about how Maybe you appear, or your ideas, or your independence. Someone sees you as very independent, very um, enigmatic, like popular. Um, something like that. Ten of Cups reverse. They feel like you're looking at them, or you're looking at this group, or some unhappy family. These people that are not getting along, a whole group. Um, and they don't have this Ace of Wands. There could be, a, this could be a romantic situation um, where the, the family is, it's very dysfunctional, no one is happy, and there's also no passion. If this is work, it could feel like no one is really, no one really has one another's back. There's no real true connection here, and they're lacking in new new ideas or um, passion at work. It's it's um, dull. Something feels dull. Someone could feel lifeless as well. Someone could come across as lifeless, and something is unfolding for you. 
it just really seems like this is the direction that's meant to be for you and it's like visible there's something about you co-creating with the universe um and someone here not wanting to listen to their better judgment not wanting to take accountability someone who feels like a failure but doesn't want something to finish there's someone here who wants to keep going it has to do with work or a collaboration and as a, some sort of long-term commitment um hopefully you're not hearing that beep um i feel like it's a some type of equipment outside um someone is needs to use um hopefully it'll be over soon if it isn't i will take a pause on the read um tower under the deck wow 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 it has to do with some type of a breakup or that someone's trying to break someone up or someone is not in the right relationship or these people don't see eye to eye this couple or someone was trying to keep two people apart oh there the beeps went away that's great yeah an empress someone was abusing a situation someone was attacking an empress energy yeah there's someone here or people are seeing you with so much to offer here why you know people it's like that something really unjust happened the tower could be a revelation about what's going on multiple people could be shocked by something and that you overcame some type of sadness connected to what happened here but there's still someone here who doesn't want to listen to their better judgment there's something about a breakup or trying to break two people up um Hopes and fears. King of Cups. There's a King of Cups in the upright. Someone, if they're in com competition with you, they might feel like the person they were in competition with, you know, they were in competition with you, with someone here, and they feel like it's lackluster now. There's no spark, and there's no glamour. And they're je jealous of a King of Cups in your life. <sighs> there's a group of people involved. I feel like, this is real messy. There's something about you overcoming some type of heartache or betrayal and someone feeling like they made a mistake. So I feel like this Emperor Reverse feels like they made a mistake and they know that you were betrayed. They made a mistake betraying you. But with this group, but the problem is you've you've been through it and you've overcome something here. This is a King of Wands reverse. You're you you're very strong. They could see you as very strong. There could be a Leo involved. Especially with this King of Wands right next to the strength. Fire sign. Strength ruled by Leo. Someone here was definitely um abusing a situation there's some sort of awareness around someone who wouldn't stop doing something to injure you yeah and so there's a mix of things going on here it's what happened it's what somebody did to a Queen of Wands Empress energy who's very stable um, and very very intuitive and has a lot to offer and is very enigmatic and is very confident and is very independent so you are what you know everyone says you know 
you do your best to embody um, a, a person who is warm, generous, you know, you use your mind, you stay grounded, um, you put your best foot forward, you, you really make an effort, you have healthy boundaries, you do, you know, your inner, sh inner shadow work, you try to nurture others, um, nurture, nurture positive friendships, um, envir um, environments where others prosper. So you are doing the things that, you know, the consensus is this is the, the way to try to run your life the best, you know, be the best you can. That's the message we get since we're in kindergarten. And then you apply those things to yourself and then someone here try to tear you down for it. And that's the irony because that's what I think someone is seeing. There's something about someone seeing it. It's like you're minding your own business and doing doing the things that everyone learned in kindergarten about, you know, putting your best foot forward. All the things, there's a book, everything I need to know I already learned in kind, kindergarten. Um, you know, being kind to others, having healthy boundaries, taking action, using your imagination, um, taking all of those steps. I feel like something is visible about that. And also visible that um, you didn't do anything to anyone here. And um, you're out here, here like everyone else, you know, putting your best foot forward. Why should anybody block or stop that? There's something about that that's coming up and out here that I feel like there are other eyes eyes on this. And not only that, you're also um, very, very intuitive and you're, you know, you're very independent. So, you, you know, okay, well, you have someone here that's, you know, going to try to ruin your life. Then you built something over here. You built, you know, someone was busy smashing the sandcastle that you had cultivated and so while they were built busy, um, you know, smashing that sand castle, you built something else. And also what's very visible is how intuitive you are. And wise. That's an asset. That's an asset. And you're very loving. Um, and I think with this Queen of Wands energy too, you, you have a warmth to you that is a great addition. So uh, there's a lot of injustice here. Um, someone feels like you're going to get what's fair to you, um, maybe because you're unwilling to, you're unwilling to, um, go into agreement with whatever this group, this dysfunctional group, this dysfunctional family, this emperor reverse, um, whoever these people are, this group here that maybe doesn't have the same vision, that doesn't have a vision. Maybe there was a group of people that wanted to knock you off your square, but they didn't have the vision. Uh, they wanted to take what you had. Maybe um, people were not willing to look at the work that you put in. If you if you stand out here as this Queen of Wands, you know that's someone that takes action, that's very independent and confident. But you do the work on yourself to to be this person, and you've been through a lot. So it's like somebody here wanted to, to beat, I, I, feel, I feel like there's like a dismissive energy here as well. Um, but I feel like someone is seeing the effort that you put in and it's, it's the, it's, it's the right thing to, you're doing the right things. And so there's a very, there's a great injustice here. And there's something about definitely picking up on somebody seeing something about, you know, jealous feminine energy jealous of another feminine energy and what a waste someone wasting someone else's time because they're jealous someone trying to destroy someone's life because they're jealous and, and there's a group involved and this could be a group of feminine energies and some masculine energies that didn't see what was happening i think especially as a queen of wands someone could be misread very easily there's some type of a breakup here or something like that. 
Someone could have tried to say you were trying to break someone up. Yeah, as a Queen of Wands, because Queen of Wands could be misread. You have like a um, maybe a very sensual energy that's you know visible. Um, even if you're you know you could be wearing a moo moo and you still have a sensual energy about you. It's you know um, it emanates from you. And if somebody wants to try to twist that and um, make people believe something about you about, you know, your, your self-worth or try to devalue you based on how you look. I feel like that's definitely, um, a part of what happened here. I feel like there's jealousy for sure. I feel like this tower is some type of revelation about all of this. You're the whole package here. You put your best foot forward. You love people. I feel like you, you add a spark. You don't take it away. And there's like a group of people here who didn't have whatever it is in this particular area that you were contributing. They didn't have it. Maybe they have it somewhere else, but they didn't have it here. And they were trying to knock you off your square and take it. Someone was. There's some type of long-term commitment here that a Queen of Cups reverse is looking at. And this is this person that doesn't want to um, back down. They don't want to take accountability. They're the ones that are in this tower or caused the tower for a lot of people. There could be some type of revelation. There could be discord among this group. This person's very abusive and they don't want to stop doing something here. There, there is a King of Wands reverse involved as well. There, someone is afraid of you being um, treated nicely by a masculine energy, this King of Cups. Yeah, it's this Queen of Swords reverse. They, this person's bitter and they want to cut you down for some reason. They're in a tower. They're in a tower. They're in denial that they're in a tower. Um, it has a lot to do with your strength. Yeah, I feel like someone definitely misread you. Um... Wow. Outcome, Seven of Cups reverse. If they're trying to paint some type of an illusion, it's it's slowly falling apart. Or this person could be very, very slowly kind of living more and more of an illusion themselves. I got that feeling from the last reading too about somebody slowly fading away. I think I put it on the Patreon. They're in some type of a tower. It's somebody who um, isn't contr in control of themselves. I feel like they're acting out. They, they won't stop, whatever this is. And um, you're strong. It's not about backing down. It's about what is. You are living your North Node. So be it. You are the greatest version of yourself in this lifetime. So be it. That's, that's just what it is. So it doesn't matter if they're in a tower or not. It doesn't matter. And you're also highly intelligent and you're very diligent and you're well equipped to, um, build sand castles if you need to, and what, wherever you need to build them and have a good time at it. Um, and take care of yourself and be confident in who you are and what you have to offer and be warm and loving and have fun and laugh, uh, you know, and travel and get what's due for it to you. Um, wow. I feel like there's more here for sure. Um, just gonna get a little coffee and then come back to the read. Okay. Let's see who the main focus is of this reading. I almost feel like it's a, there's some sort of a comparison here. You providing strength and support to others, acting out of love with no expectation of reward, and then you've got someone here that, um, you know, is attacking you. And I feel like people are seeing this in some type of a network of group of people. 
Yeah. You could be very um, wise. You 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 help people. And there's some sort of chivalrous, romantic energy around you. What does the collective need to know? Companion reverse. So this is either a friend or, or, or an ex. Um, a friend of an ex, a friend of a karmic feminine attached to an ex. Someone is very voyeuristic here. They want to know something. Someone is researching something. Um, someone's looking up some... Okay, so you have a bully that is trying to figure something out. Bully, detective, companion. So this could have been a friend of yours, or this could be somebody that... Companion. Somebody that's... Uh, this person could be a teacher. This person could be um, the partner of someone involved here, looking into something. Um, I think they said some things about you that are not adding up. I feel like this person, um, they get irked by your sort of nature-loving spirit that you, you come across as um, natural or something like that. This person's a shapeshifter. Yeah, there's something about your personality, especially with this Queen of Wands, the way you appear that really... Um, it really upsets this person. Um, you can be very un unique the way you dress or, you know, you glow without makeup or the way you do your makeup is very enigmatic or, you know, um, or you're very, you know, you, you could be a silver, a beautiful silver gray, you know, or you could just be, you know, have radiant long hair or whatever it is. There's something, um, you know, you could walk around barefoot a lot and have a garden. I think you get what I'm saying. There's something about you that's very um, visibly distinct and, and appealing. Scribe. This person could be a writer. Writing, writer, a teacher, they could have, um, they could be writing things, typing things, sending messages that are an integral part of this detective scribe. Writing could be very important to this person's career or job or, for, or you are. You could be a writer, you could be, um, there's something about you. Maybe you have a blog that helps people, or you write self-help books. You could write fiction, or there's something that someone did here. Um, or you could do videos and you, you have to script them out first. Um, this person's a shapeshifter. Someone likes to pretend they're a good person. There could be someone here who tried to pretend like they were helping you, or they pretend that they like to help people. Um, but they're irked by you. You could be in a category of people that this person likes to say they help, but they have um, purposely tried to destroy you. Yeah, there's something about writing. They could have written something down that implicated them. Somebody could be looking into something that someone wrote. Bully, teacher, scribe. Someone could have plagiarized your work. You're not a beggar. 
I feel like somebody wanted you to beg. I feel like someone misunderstood your childlike energy for sure. Storytellers coming out, so someone here could um, definitely be... There's definitely something about writing. Um, and there's something about what you do that is very spiritual, even if it doesn't have... On the surface, if it doesn't seem spiritual, whatever you do, it goes back to you serving humanity with humility. That is the part that is very clear here. There's some, there's someone here that was maybe supposed to be a mentor or had some type of a position of power um, or was supposed to offer help, um, but they, yeah, they, they don't... They're missing some kind of spark here. I feel like someone didn't like your work process or they didn't understand your work process. You're very angelic. And you, you definitely are the feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and sensuality. Someone was saying something about you here poet, writer, storyteller, there's definitely something about um, someone trying to take something from you, thief, you know, this is someone who is not like you are, they couldn't steal something from you, there's something about your um, earthiness, your intuition, your, you know, you could have a lot of crystals, you could have been burning sage since before it was popular. You know, maybe it was weird to people at some point. Um, you could be a masseuse and you put stones on people or you study, study different types of um, healing modalities. But I feel like there's also something about writing. Maybe you're writing a book. I don't know. I think you get what this is. The, the storyteller, maybe you are a songwriter. You tell stories with your songs. Um, there's a, definitely something about being very much yourself. You have a very distinct personality. You're very healing. You come across as natural, very naturey. Even though, um, I mean, you could wear just very minimalistic looking suits to work every day, but there's something about you that has like a um, you know, you're, you're a radiance about you, um, that I feel like I'm picking up on how someone sees you, someone tried to bully you, and they don't have what you have, there's something, but they don't have what you have, and it's like something that irks them, too, um, I don't know why that's coming through so much, um, this could be a mother figure or somebody who's very smothering. You could be a mother. There could be someone who's been trying to drain your energy. Um, I feel like you transmute it. There could be a lot of, you could be attracting money as well. Um, I feel like You go your own way with something as far as, you know, creating income and it's successful. You're, there's money coming in. It's like a magnet. I feel like you are improving your relationship to money as well in your life. Um, whether that is, you know, how you spend it to help others or how you save it or what you're investing in or what you're building or putting it back in your business or how much you save versus spend. Um, there's someone here that was trying to really trick people and it, it failed. So this person's a shapeshifter. I feel like that's why it's coming out somewhat so strange. Um, um, I'm going to use, I got this Venus dice. Um, this is like ancient Greece. 
with multiple influences from around the area. Um, the East, Egypt, um, and so it's basically Aphrodite, Aphrodite. Um, and so I'm gonna just see, because we've got the shapeshifter energy, um, this is my first time using this, divination. Um, so you use your left hand the first time. It's made, made out of terracotta, so you're supposed to be very careful with it. So we'll see how this goes. Um, okay, so left hand. The question is, is what is this about? What is the intention of this person? Or what does the collective need to know about this energy? Clearly, you've defended yourself. Something's being made fair, but uh, and it seems like someone's really um, observing you. There seems to be something coming to light here as well, but I'm not sure what else we need to know from this. Okay, so flower. Okay, so flower. Open, erotic flows, new relationship, friendship, flirt, receiving. So it's about love in your life. And then you use your right hand to get the second meaning. Um, okay, so this is about love, flirtation. Right, Knight of Cups. But that's in the reverse. Wow, flower again. Okay, so flower, flower is mental health. Okay, so this is about someone's mental health. So how someone's thinking about something, or people could be questioning someone's mental health. Now we use both hands, or I think it's like very significant part of the reading is someone's mental health here. Um, both hands regarding when. What is this? It looks like a snake. Yeah, snake. Wow, cast again to know when. If same appears again, means that something is already happening. Okay, we have to cast again to know when. I think that's wheat. I'm pretty sure that's wheat. It could be a feather as well. Just make sure it's not the feather. That's a seahorse, a flower, fruit, faces. Actually, um, <laughs> so this is actually a knot, it's not a snake. And so it says, for the knot, sorry, undefined one for specific incident, future under construction, <laughs> future under construction. So that's, it feels very vague. Um, and we have this shapeshifter energy. So it's about someone's mental health. So we'll leave it there. It's the first time we're using it. I think it's going to be very helpful, this thing. Um, I got it on Etsy. I'm not affiliated in any way. It's called the Venus um, Dice. Um, I guess they make each one. Um, by, I don't know exactly how they make it. Um, but yeah, it's made out of terracotta. Okay, so this has to do with someone's mental health. We got flower twice and the future is unknown. Maybe this is less about time. And but that's also interesting too, because Seven of Cups is about confusion and illusion. If it's accentuation of the Seven of Cups, so it's like somebody losing track of time, somebody being out of out of sorts mentally. Which I just did a reading um, about that. 
and it's on the Patreon, and then I did another one before the Patreon that did have this feeling like somebody was going to keep trying to do something and was unaware of their life collapsing around them. Still, you know, focused on you and up to same old tricks and unaware of themselves and what's happening to them. them that like, that's, that's the worst. That's, that's a, not a, you know, to be so delirious that someone, I mean, that's, wow, someone could be, like going into some sort of permanent like unable to take care of themselves or unable to see like they feel like they're acting out of a normal set of circumstances or they're seeing reality in one way but they've they've really become sort of disconnected okay so this is someone who's disconnected becoming disconnected Um, it's like they're not getting what they want and they're becoming disconnected from reality. Um, this is someone in a house that wants to see you in a bad circumstance. This is someone who wishes you unwell. This is something about not being in the house, something getting out, something that's not, it's not someone doing something um, in regards to you. Um, there's a, yeah, there's a community of people that know something, something was going on in a house here. Um, a secret is out. So there's someone who won't let something go. Um, there's another masculine energy involved. There could be some type of legal issues. It could involve traveling. Um, or someone might travel, have to travel because of legal issues. Far away, overseas. Knight of Cups reverse. Someone's love bombing someone, uh, or they're disingenuous. Um, some for this money or someone's fortune the chariot they just someone's false someone's false and they're not seeing they're blocking themselves the chariot someone is thinking about getting control of a situation or they feel like someone got control of us over a situation because of a breakup or someone wants to break somebody up and there's some type of message connected to this. Someone is dishonorable and they're in bad health. I feel like this bad health is someone's mental state. It's about someone doing the most to stop someone from becoming, gaining rank with via a marriage. This person could be losing a lot of money. They could have lost money on a trip. They could be ignoring their child. They're blocked. Eight of Wands reverse in the subconscious. Something about blocked energy. Something's backfiring. Someone is taking some type of type of frustrated action they shouldn't be taking. Um, has to do with someone's job. Losing their job. They're gonna lose everything. They're gonna lose everything by trying to gamble. Take this gamble. There's a main male reverse here involved. Someone is blocked or someone's trying to block someone. Four of Cups in their recent past. Someone's not rejected. 
There's a message that someone's not rejected. <laughs> or someone doesn't want to be rejected. It's something about someone being poor and not losing their position. Or someone being poor and not belonging in some. Someone is poor and doesn't belong. Someone does not belong. Someone doesn't have a position. And someone is paying someone something. Someone is giving something to someone who doesn't belong. Or someone is giving something to someone so someone cannot gain rank. Someone could have lost money doing this. Or someone wants someone to be. There's a message about someone here. This could be also like a uh, unexpected evidence coming up. Someone could be tipping someone off. Six of Pentacles, someone's going to do something fair. Sudden wealth. Someone is going to make something fair. Something's going to work out in your favor. You're going to get this, this payment. And someone feels blocked. Someone is giving money to someone that's not an official person. Marriage. Someone's dishonorable. Someone's a thief. This main male reverse is a dishonorable thief. Or they're involved. Hmm. Someone's love bombing someone for money. Someone is giving someone money that doesn't deserve it or shouldn't have it. Someone's disingenuous. Someone's doing something for money. It's about a breakup or breaking two people up. Someone's gonna get paid. But someone is defending themselves. It's almost like you're getting the money instead because there's a mix up or someone, someone could lose their job because of this. The fool in the near future, someone is leaving. Courtship reverse, someone is not courting someone. Someone is starting new. They're not going to be courting someone. Someone's in despair over this. <sighs> because something's not over. Someone's broke. Someone's broke. Someone's broke and doesn't want something to be over. Or someone wants you to be poor. There's, there's something about money here um, that is very significant. This is the reading is it feels like something about a couple and a lot of money and someone receiving. There's some sort of like a transaction here. But you defended yourself. You're defending yourself. And you're also very stable. Nine of Pentacles. You're also very wise and intuitive. So someone has to let go or someone's trying to hold on to something. But this feels like greed and power. This is money and power. This reading is about money and power. Somebody is disingenuous. Um, Nine of Pentacles. Someone's in bad health. This is about someone's mental health. Though I feel like this is mentally... Uh, like someone is disturbed. Someone is very disturbed. This could be someone who um, is really like ungrounded. Their thoughts are very ungrounded. Someone who's a false person. They're not thinking straight. They're not thinking deeply about something. It has to do with this main male reverse. This main male reverse keeps coming out. There's something about this masculine energy that's very significant. This wouldn't be someone that you were in any kind of a romantic relationship with. Whoever this main male is. 
you and the environment, um, you're you're reworking something, and there's these people who are all very unhappy, and they don't have the spark or they don't have the connection. That's what is clear. Main female reverse. So there's a karmic feminine energy involved with this that doesn't have the spark. You do. You're the privileged lady in the upright. Someone tried to take something from you energetically. Yeah, you have the gift. It's not over for you. You have the gift. You're this queen of wands. You're, there's something that someone tried to ruin or take. It's being reworked. And there's a bunch of people that are unhappy with this karmic feminine energy who doesn't have the spark or the idea or the the ace of wands they don't have it the vision the creativity the life force wands are about life force too the passion the attraction the creativity something's not over for you someone can't take it there's someone like that's delirious King of Cups, because they could have gone too far doing something. It's something about trying to stop a relationship. There's a lot of money here. They're afraid of this King of Cups being in the upright. That means that this Emperor Reverse is not the star, is, is lackluster, is unhappy. Their wishes aren't coming true. Um, they're, they're going the wrong way. They went the wrong way. If, this, if someone's a king of cups, then this emperor reverse went the wrong way. It's something that's going on in a family room. This is weird. It means that the, something that the work that someone put in was worthless. This main male reverse. Whoever this is, it keeps coming out. They, whatever they did... They put effort into something that is a waste of time. Maybe this is the Emperor Reverse. This could be some sort of tyrannical person who wants to be the center of attention or wants someone's good fortune. So they want to take something that belongs to someone else. If it's spiritual, it's, you know, it's energetic. If it's, you know, intellectual property... If they try to take something, it looks like it definitely is backfiring in a major way. It has something to do with either someone not concentrating. Someone feels like someone's not concentrating. You're in the upright. You're in the upright. You... Uh, You're stable, you have a spark, you're enigmatic, you're reworking something, you have the spark, the idea, the creativity, the life force, the inspiration, the passion, whatever it is that um, these people feel is connected to this great fortune. And there's something about a couple. This is maybe one of the strangest readings yet. Um, Malcolm, Seven of Cups, Reverse. I feel like someone out here knows what in that I'm reading for knows exactly what this is. Um, Seven of Cups reverse. Community reverse, thief reverse. It's this Ten of Cups people that all try to take something that doesn't belong to them or that went they're going down with someone that they went into agreement with someone or something like that. They're all in some type of like confusion. All of these people are confused. So mental health, it's not just this karmic feminine energy. It's a whole group is 10 of cups in reverse. 
there's a whole group that are, um, there's a loss of self autonomy or self it's it's pretty horrible um, these are like people who could be talking to themselves and just not they think they're still experiencing reality like they were before and they're absolutely not. And the danger is that it, it's, I mean, this can be so extreme that, you know, if they don't have family to support them, these people could end up out on the street, you know. I'm, I'm not wishing that on anyone. I'm just saying it seems like there's a bunch of people that are very confused that don't have a grasp of reality. I feel like someone might have gone too far with something because someone was not an official person. Someone shouldn't have been doing something. Someone didn't belong somewhere. You do. You belong. And this is like something backfiring. It has something to do with someone's money. Someone trying to get rich or take someone's money. Unexpected income. Or pay someone to do something. I'm not sure exactly, but... This could be a longer reading. It's going to require another sip of coffee. Let's see who we're dealing with. We've got Cancer, Mercury and Sagittarius, Moon and Cancer, Moon and Taurus, Venus and Virgo, Sun and Capricorn, Saturn and Taurus, Mars and Pisces, Aries, Aquarius, Venus and Scorpio, Mars and Leo. So you could have any of those placements in your chart. If you've got multiple, then you definitely know this is about you. Um, or someone you're dealing with. Sometimes it's hard to know people's chart placements in that detail, but you, you might know. Um, or these could be transits that are important as well that you could be aware of. Especially if you're very strong in astrology or you're an astrologer. All right, we have Sagittarius again. Something about travel, beliefs, ideas as well. Um, north node, something about you. Right, I think that's important. Your north node is your north node. It's like somebody trying to alter the molecules of reality. You know, the molecules of reality, if that makes sense. Like trying to alter the story, the fabric of the story, the players in the story, the outcome of the story. But the problem is something is written here, North Node. Um, we have Cancer. We have Virgo. Planets, we have Uranus and Venus. We have 33, which in some, some, um, You know, groups is a very um, important number. We have the number six. It also be six three six, six three 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 six, or thirty three is significant. So this could be something about initiation. 
moving up in ranks, knowledge. Let's do one more. Someone could be taking a, taking a trip. We have Leo. We have Virgo again. We have Libra. I feel like this Libra is very important. Something about this Libra is very, very important. It feels very, um, all I can say is significant or important. Something about this Libra. We have Jupiter and Neptune. It's like expands, expands out into the ethers. Pfft. Travel. This could be astral travel. Um, we also have Pluto. <laughs> wow. Pluto, Neptune, and Jupiter. This is like going out into the outer realms and not coming back or going into the underworld. You know, Neptune, Pluto, Jupiter in a big way or something happening in a big way but Jupiter's also about luck someone wants luck they wanted luck they wanted the jackpot but this is like real dreamy dreamy or the ethers the outer realms Pluto is things coming up from the surface to be regenerated but Pluto doesn't clean it up Pluto just brings it up to the surface and it, it digs very deep so things that are hidden come to the surface so this could be some something to do with hidden ideas Pluto Jupiter connected to Sagittarius is about philosophy and ideas Neptune thinking outside of the box way outside of the box but this could also be mental health getting so getting real lost we have 12 6 and 10 as well okay someone having to defend themselves on a journey someone having to defend themselves on a journey okay just gonna put these here for now Okay, yes, I will. I heard someone say to use these letter dice. All right. A, U, I, we definitely have more vowels this time. Wow, we have three A's. Three A's. Somebody could be an Alcoholics Anonymous. Somebody could be um, a AAA member. AAA could be very significant. Maybe someone is signing up right now. Um, T. You, another you, let's put that there. At A U A U P Australia, someone could be in Australia. We have R A T R T R A. We have a J. We have an N, we have H, and then we've got two dashes and an exclamation mark, so those don't really. I'm leaving this here, so, um, you could see some initials that are significant. License, license plates, street names.
J-A-N, there could be a Jan. T-A-N, someone could be tan, tan skin, getting tan. Um, someone could be a rat, R-A-T, year of the rat. Pat, someone could be patting someone. R-I-T, R-I-P. Yeah, R-I-P. H, H I. So I'll just say the letters again: A U I A U P A T R J N H. Um, T J J T. T N N T R N. Somebody could be a nurse. Okay, so we'll leave it there with those. Let's keep going. So someone love bombed someone for money, but somebody endured, and now someone doesn't have a choice. Someone, there's some type of news or excitement about someone. And there's something about a lot of money here. Someone has their eye on how much they can get. It has to do with the negotiation. But somebody is not devoted to someone. Someone's not part of this organization. Someone was trying to dominate this person. I feel like someone could be seeing something come your way. And they, um... Try to discard you. From something... I, to prosper at your expense. Now something's coming your way. And they want to... You're not part of something. But there's this fortune here. Someone's wearing a mask, Knight of Cups, Reverse, Adaptability. There's someone wearing a mask in regards, and they're very impulsive, and they're a liar. Um, and they're, they have, they're not innovative. Yeah, there's someone here that doesn't have the innovation. Secrets about them are coming out. It could be this main male reverse. They wear a mask. Um, they do things quickly. Um, they could move fast. They could seem like they move fast. They could come across as impressive because they, they seem like they think fast, but they're wearing a mask. They're very disingenuous. Um, someone could have given their power away to someone here for what they could get out of a situation. It could have to do with romance, but, but someone out here was very vengeful and these secrets are coming out. Something was all about money. We have Libra out here again. Mars and Libra. There's something about an organization. Someone not belonging. Someone here was... This could be like a party scene. Something was very lustful. Um, something might have seemed harmonious, but there was no innovation. Or there were... Someone could have lost their power involving themselves in a situation that seemed like socially like a good time, some type of a good time, but it was an illusion. Um, now, someone has control over something, there's a breakup. Um, which means that someone's losing their authority. There's some type of message connected to it. Someone here is trying to distract someone, or someone was trying to distract someone. Someone doesn't want a drama. Someone's trying to distract someone with a drama, but someone's not falling for it. Someone's real worried, 
because they're they don't get the fortune or they're losing the fort they're worried about the money and they can't be versatile anymore someone's there's, this is someone's something about someone's health someone maybe they can't focus someone can't focus they don't want a drama they're they're indecisive they're worried they're in their head they're trying to avoid a drama so someone could be dealing with um Someone who's very narcissistic. Because that can be very draining. Those narcissistic fights become very draining. It's all about getting someone to... Um, someone could have lost their fortune because they were distracted. Someone was distracting them away from their actual fortune. sort of contract someone has a very strong opinion there's something about a choice or a contract someone love bombing someone it has to do with money and great fortune the problem is someone's losing their authority it's something about the, the way someone's thinking they're going to lose someone has control over a situation that means that someone's going to lose their authority if there's a breakup, if there's a breakup here, uh, maybe they're not replying to a message. Or someone can't think straight. Someone is trying to avoid a drama. Or someone here is good at creating a drama that drains people so they don't make the best decisions for themselves. Or someone doesn't want, they have to make a choice to, to avoid a drama. Someone is disingenuous here for money. Someone is losing their money. Someone's broke. It's all for some type of party scene. Someone's seducing someone in some type of party scene. Someone has a choice. Someone is seducing someone for... Okay, maybe someone here is trying to seduce someone for their money. Someone, there's some, this could be happening. Someone could lose their job. Someone is very worried. Someone seduce someone for money. Or somebody has a choice to make. Or somebody offered someone money. Now they're going to lose their authority. Someone's expecting a breakup. Or someone's expecting someone to break people up. But they're going to lose their authority. They're going to lose their position. Someone feels distracted or someone wants to distract someone. But, but they don't belong to this organization. It's, it's a risk. If they do this, it's some type of a risk because someone is losing their status or they could lose their status because someone doesn't belong to this organization. Someone's escaping. It, it's a lie. It's a big lie. Deep down, someone could lose their job if they do this. But it's for resources. They need the resources. Someone just feels like they can't keep going, but there's some type of party scene or someone's trying to entice someone or love bomb someone here. Someone's trying to love bomb someone. Um, something is a gamble here. It's a gamble. Someone's being impulsive with this gamble. There's some type of a friendship group here. But someone doesn't want something to be seen. It can't be seen. It can't get out that they're doing this. 
or it has something to do with blocking someone from being seen. Someone gave their power away, but someone has a vision. Someone or someone has a vision. Someone can see someone did something very impulsive. But they don't really want people to know what they did or it's a lie. Four of Cups reverse. Someone doesn't belong to this organization. Someone did something here. Someone's two-faced. It's about blocking business or they're going to lose their job. They don't belong here. But someone's drawing someone in. Someone's not an official person. I don't know if someone's trying to say someone's going to achieve something. Four of Cups reverse in the recent past. There's a message here. Someone's not rejected. Someone is like offering someone harmony or someone has harmony. Someone's not devoted to someone. Someone can't endure something. Some sort of message, extreme informa information. Someone's not rejected. Someone's flattering someone. Someone's real two-faced. Yeah, someone's something's not right here. Someone doesn't belong. Someone is not exalted. They don't belong. Someone can't keep doing something. Someone's not exalted. They don't belong. Something is a lie. Someone's expecting someone to get paid a lot of money. Um, someone is going to make something fair. It's going to be a lot of money. Um, someone's flattering someone. Someone's intending on flattering someone. They're going to make a lot of money. Innovation reverse. But there's no innovation here. Someone, it's like someone's paying someone to do something they can't deliver. Or someone is trying to pay someone to block someone from being innovative. Someone is taking a chance. This is a risk. It's a very risky contract. It's a gamble. <clears throat> Do not know what I'm tapping into, but somebody's up to no good. <sighs> But there's mental health issues here. So riches reverse, someone's poor, or they lost everything doing doing something, they lack empathy. Somebody lacks empathy about blocking a business or trying to make someone lose everything. Or they lost everything because someone's gonna lose their job. There's some sort of extreme information here. Near future, someone's not courting someone. Someone is starting new. Don't know how these tie together. I don't know if this is a plot. Um, someone is not courting someone in the near future. Someone's too worried. Someone's too worried, too um, indecisive, too confused. Someone's worried. It's about someone's mental health. Someone is in some type of an illusion. They're real confused in, in the near future. Because they're, they're trying not to have a drama and they're really confused. They don't want to be criticized or someone's criticizing someone in the near future. There's like a friendship group or something like that. And some type of negotiation. There's like a quarrel. Someone's trying to avoid a drama. It's some type of gamble that someone's taking. Uh, like rebelling 
escape. Something about someone escaping. Someone didn't use caution. They're not devoted to someone. They're not... They have no patience. It has something to do with a contract and, and a quarrel over a contract. Someone doesn't have any... In, they're not innovative. Um, some, someone needs to escape. <laughs> someone is not dedicated to this, to this contract. Someone sees that you're very independent, so this has to do with you. Someone's watching your... someone's pocket watching. They see you're very intuitive. Um, it's like someone has to let something go. It's like their mental health, they can't take it. Some type of secrets are coming out. Someone could feel like you see through their, you can see, you can see through the secrets. It has to do with some type of a contract. A negotiation. Somebody isn't getting the fancy things. And they can't defend themselves. They don't want people to see what this is. They don't want people to know. They don't want to draw attention to themselves. This shapeshifter. It's, there's something about a friendship group that's involved here. It's like someone's trying to go under the radar because we saw shapeshifter. Uh, it could be that masculine energy in the reverse, that male, male reverse. You're in the environment appearing to be very... Uh, a lot of vitality, um, reworking something, and you're very clearly aware of everything that's going on here and everybody can see it. You're looking right at them. You're looking at this karmic feminine energy, some sort of dysfunctional group, and Ace of Wands reverse, someone that doesn't have the spark or doesn't have the innovation. Um, and there's a, like, yeah, a quarrel here over a gamble that someone took. Um, someone's losing their power in the environment. I think it's this karmic feminine energy. It, this person could be very dull, appear, appear lifeless. Um, this is someone that's trying to dominate people that can't assert themselves. Someone's losing their inheritance. It has to do with someone's mental health. And someone needs to escape. Someone might need help. There's some sort of a gamble here with this group some type of a contract. Um, people are not enthusiastic. Something is like someone is trying to draw people in, sell someone a dream, but there's no plan. There's no plan at all. Someone's afraid they're going to lose um, their birthright or they will not be shining or they, they're going the wrong way. They're going to, you know, something's misaligned for this Emperor Reverse. If this King of, if someone, if this King of Cups is here in the upright, this masculine energy is going to, yeah, they're going to lose their status. And that's going on in some type of a private way. And there's someone here who has some type of very spiteful energy connected to this um it has to do with some type of love or relationship or flirtation between two people some type of an affair someone can't defend themselves from it there's a whole friendship group involved and some some people try to dominate someone this could also involve religion a religious group um outcome is seven of cups reverse it feels like extreme confusion, mental confusion for a whole group of people who are not able to take something. And it feels like they're wand wanderers. It feels, they feel confused and unfocused, but from the outside, that's how they look. But in the inside, they think they're still living no normal lives. This just feels very disjointed. Somebody's losing touch with reality where these people are. Um, it has something to do with this group. Anybody that's involved in something here, this whole group are in some type of, um, anybody that criticized you, 
or something about this group criticizing someone. There's a big fight. Someone can't keep going. It has to do with a contract. Someone's losing their inheritance. They're not exalted. It's like someone is spiritually falling. And there's it, it has to do with a romance. There's some sort of quarrel over this. And someone is rebelling. They want to rebel from this gamble, or they ta they're taking a gamble. This could be someone that wants to, that went into agreement with a group of people um, that is wants to renege. Someone's losing their status and their authority. Someone's trying to sell someone a dream. Someone's going to flatter someone with a lot of money, but they can't do it in the near future. There's all this confusion and worry and someone is getting off scot-free. Someone is taking a leap of faith because somebody isn't courting someone. Um, there could be an ex that feels like they're losing you and they could feel like some type of, like that you're a divine connection, but they gambled the divine connection away to appease this group and this could be some type of like ritualistic thing which is very weird but um if we just go with this weird thing that these people are up to or that i'm picking up on um if i'm correct about it or if this is one of the potential interpretations of what's happening here somebody feels like this king of cups is taking away their power, meaning it only works if it's like a broken contract, that the inheritance, the birthright comes with the person that they were in a relationship with, the match, the divine connection, and someone gambled a divine connection for some group here they may or may not have realized what they were doing. And there seems to be a king of cups here that if there's a masculine energy who is true and loving, it like, it changes the focus of this Knight of Pentacles High Priestess energy, the energy the new contract, the fool, the new contract is with this King of Cups. And if there's no focus, if there's no cord between this Emperor and you, then they lose everything. And whatever this contract or this game was for money is failing. That's one idea that could be going on here. The other thing is, is this Emperor Reverse could be somebody's colleague, some type of leader, somebody that um, sold someone a dream, or someone that was trying to manipulate an ex of yours, could be, who doesn't want this person to escape a situation because they feel like there's a lot of money to be had. This could also be... Uh, I don't know who is like, I feel like someone is, someone could be offering someone a big, a lot of money to come towards you. For some reason, or s someone is feeling like you're gonna receive something and they wanna come towards you two-faced. But this is all about a contract or a choice someone has to make. But somebody is trying to love bomb them with money or somebody's trying to love bomb someone's great fortune. Someone has a great fortune and someone is trying to draw them in, sell someone a dream. But someone is going to, someone is expecting for two people to break up. Someone's going to lose their authority. There's something about a masculine energy losing their position. 
It has something to do with courting someone or some type of a relationship. And there's something else going on here where someone's really worried about losing their job. Someone's going to lose their job. They're going to lose their position if they don't break up with someone or if they don't break someone up or if these two people break up, someone's going to lose their authority. Which is very odd. I do want to do one more pass because I feel like the pieces are coming together. Um, it's very odd. Um, someone's worried about being criticized. They're very, very worried. Um, something about losing power, status, authority, because we see authority reverse, we see power reverse, and these secrets are coming out and someone's sick, very unstable. We see status reverse here. Someone's wearing a mask here. They've got a choice to make. It's like somebody is forcing someone's hand. Someone is forcing someone's hand. Someone could be worried that there's gonna, they're gonna out them. Someone is gonna out what they did. Um, but they're also trying to entice them in some type of a fantasy or or someone is giving someone an ultimatum that they have to take some sort of steps. Or someone knows that the plan is to come towards someone where the blessings are you. something goes awry in the near future and someone takes this clean leap of faith unencumbered by this weird overcomplicated <laughs> uh, imbalanced plot um and there's something weird because someone doesn't belong it, someone is someone doesn't belong in this group someone doesn't belong in this organization If somebody doesn't do this, they're going to kick them out of the organization. Or the group is somebody who... It's something about being exalted to their spiritual rank here. There is. These people are operating in some type of their business, but there's also something to do. There's some esoteric thing going on as well here. You know what? I'm just going to... make this be the final um i'm just going to ask a few more questions because this has gone on too long and i feel like um it'll come up again in a reading there's a queen of swords reverse criticizing someone that can't defend themselves so that's it's something about someone losing their power there's some type of an illusion here someone's losing their power there's an illusion um, someone who doesn't want something to end. Someone's very burdened by something here. I feel like someone might want to escape the situation. Um, there's some type of a, people criticizing someone, trying to tell someone they need to do something here. Um, I feel like someone wants to escape, escape something. Um, Three of Pentacles, this has to do with work, a group collaboration, and you, your independence, or someone collaborating with you. Uh, maybe it's, I don't know if you can trust this, or you're already working with people on something. You're protected, King of Swords here. You're very, very protected. I don't know if this Archangel Michael, an investigator, a judge, you're protected. Um, so, it's something about hierarchy as well. It's hierarchy. Who belongs, who doesn't. Here, this Empress energy. You definitely belong. And there's a King of Wands here. Someone's in their ego about it. Someone's in denial. It's really weighing someone down. There's a lot of stress here. Someone's telling someone they have to do something. They have to do something. Um, it has to do with slowing someone down, blocking a commitment, involving a group of people. Um, 
blocking someone's love, creating some type of a, an illusion. Um, it's a lie. Lying, lying, cheating, stealing. Um, it has to do with your happiness. It has to do with the Two of Cups. It has to do with romantic feelings. It has to do with balance and flow and healing. It has to do with passion. It has to do with the fact that you're not rejected. Whoever's doing this is not listening to their better judgment. Uh, you are definitely the star energy. And they are going to just cause themselves a loss by doing this. You're very clearly this queen of wands. Here, someone is agitated or in bad mental health that's doing this, or multiple people are. There's a king of pentacles here, which feels like this king of cups. Um, and whatever this is, is, it's karma playing itself out. It's bigger than anybody here. And any sort of betrayal or uh, ruin or something that initially happened here, um, there's something about your emotional balance, your discipline, your healthy boundaries, um, and your focus on reworking something here connected to your North Node and your good karma um, that they're not going to be able to stop. They're, they're just only punishing themselves and there's some type of delirium here. They're going to end up out in the cold and you're going to end up with this Ten of Pentacles. They're going to end up feel, feeling very mentally unstable from this. This, they're focused on the King of Cups here. They're going to hurt themselves. Yeah, this leads to defeat for them. You, you have control over a situation with this Emperor for a reason. It doesn't matter if they're in competition with you. Whatever information they're trying to get, they're just going to create their own heartbreak. This Ace of Wands does not belong to them, and you get this new start. Um, yeah, the Divine says you've been through enough already. Yeah, you get what's fair to you. Um, and this sweet talker here, this Queen of Cups reverse, um, feels like they're going to get themselves out of a trap and they're going to have the pinnacle of success. They think this is like some type of a good idea to make themselves selves feel better and like they're going to get the happily ever after. Um, but, uh, you know, one only needs to look within and soul search to see that they're just going to... Um, end up stuck in a drama, stagnant, and um, you are going to receive the good news, the offers, and this Four of Wands, and it's moving very quickly for you. And anything they do very quickly here is going to backfire, trying to hold on to something in a manipulative way. It's going to create a tower. They're in a tower now, and they should take heed. This Queen of Pentacles should. You're, you obviously are able to you know, defend yourself with the Six of Cups energy. Um, and they're, they're feeling paranoid and nervous for a reason. They should pay, pay attention to it. They should maybe focus on themselves, your high priestess energy. And that's the vibe they're getting. And that's where this lovers and this plan moving forward is coming from. And that is why you've overcome this sadness. And whatever this group is doing, their ships are not going to come in. They're, they're bound to some sort of very dark negative energy that's only dragging them down. And you will um, succeed here with the Six of Wands. If you resonate with this message, I hope that it helps. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.